Hey guys, gun collector here. Uh, I figure it's been a while since I made a video or anything, so just gonna do a quick, you know, collection glance. I'm not gonna like name them all off. Just gonna show like some of the cool poses. My camera's having problems focusing lately. I'm not exactly sure why, but it's kind of annoying. Got the Gilgug there with two of the Dome bazookas. Got my Gogs, the blue ones holding his homies. Uh, there's all my domes right there. I need one more Okawara one and one more desert one. So if anybody has those, I'm looking for those. One Okawara dome, one desert dome. And I would like two of the bootleg ones, but that ain't gonna happen. Uh, that guy and Zeon being partners in crime there. Got my Zagak squad. They kind of look like cheerleaders like that. Give me a Z, give me a G, give me an O, give me a K, that spells stupid amphibious mobile suit. And Gil Good, Gatos and Shards. I got him kind of running, but he's really fat. So the Zacrello has to hold him, Zacrello, however the heck you want to say it. His shield keeps falling. My real type gun can is riding the real type gun tank because I ran out of room on this shelf. Uh, my collection is like half of what it used to be because unfortunately I ran into some issues and I had to sell quite a few of them. Uh, Johnny Ridden Zaku 2. He's holding the Shard Zaku 2 bazooka. It looks rather nice on him. I don't know what pose he's in. That's just kind of how I pulled him out of the box. So Shard's fighting himself. I don't know why. Use your imagination. Three camo Zakus. GPO2's bazooka, the Zaku's running. No, Shard, sure, don't do it! Uh, any Zaku's you guys are trading off. Looking for those too. Uh, looking for an EZ8 because mine, the antenna is broken. So, uh, if it's an EZ8 head, that'd be nice if anybody has an EZ8 that's just foobard. But there's my custom heavy one. It's kind of hard to see because he's a dark color and then. Oh, focus. And my light is way on the other side. Goof Custom and Battle Scarred Easy 8. Yeah, always looking for 8 the Mess Team stuff. There's my Gene Cannon 2s. And my 0080 3. Yeah, 0083. Kind of had a brain fart there. I've been playing uh, the 0081 game for PS3, so for some reason that was in my head. I got a uh, Sazabine Manu Gundam. He's got his foot up on there like he's all cool. The Jägen's riding because he's lame. I got the new Gundam heavy weapon system to hold his beam cannon off the ground and his shield. Yeah. Giridoga's right there. Uh, that's my pitiful Zeta collection. Technically double Zeta as well. So my wing suits. <laughs> And my two Robot Damashis, Unicorn Gundam, and my Angelo Sopper's Gear Zulu, which I love. I'm always looking for Robot Damashi. Uh, I know this is like an impossible thing to ask, but if anybody, you know, likes both and they have Robot Damashi figures and they're like, oh, hey, I really want that MSIA and he really wants Robot Damashi, maybe we can trade. And we could do that. Holy crap, I need a new camera. <laughs> and there's my repairs I need to make. GM Customs, head broken. The EZ has no antenna. The Gogo is missing the fin on the back of the head. GPO2's legs are extremely loose, which is not a fix. I haven't gotten around to it. The Gian's missing his sword. The Nataku back there, his arm keeps like, uh, like the forearm joint. It's, so it's not one that you can just throw in hot water. It's actually messed up. The gun tank's treads are messed up. Um, the lighting in my room is really killing this. Oh, and I also have this. If anybody wants to trade something for it or buy it or whatever. It's another Centuries Episode R, obviously for the PS3. Really good game, but once you beat all of, like the storylines and stuff, there's not much to do. And I'm trying to build up my Gundam collection again 
after having to part with like half of them. So, yeah, if anybody has anything they want to trade, it really doesn't matter, you know, what it is like. I can say I'm looking for specific things, but if anybody wants to contact me and be like, you know, hey, I have this, 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 and this, then that'd be cool because then I can be like, okay, well, I want this, 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 and this, or, you know, no, your collection sucks, that I don't want any. But, yeah. Uh, I don't have much left to trade, guys, but, you know, I guess if somebody likes Leo's or something, or I have, like, four freaking Natakus back there if anyone wants a Nataku. Like I said, mainly looking for the Robot Damashi. Freaking love that figure line, but I can't afford them. <laughs> so it kind of sucks. Uh, but, yeah. So I have these, and I have that uh, that Ace R for the PS3. Like I said, it's a really good game. If anybody wants that, you know, hit me up. Uh, yeah. Any comments on the video or any messages, whatever, I'll try to reply within the same day because I just graduated. And so my entire day isn't filled now, just like the second half of it. So... Yeah, uh, I should be able to reply. I know some people have been really bad about that lately, where they don't uh, reply really, and it's kind of nerve wracking. Um, you know, I guess everybody has their own thing to do, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, got off topic. Yeah, that's my collection update thing. You know, I guess you can call it a buy sell trade video or whatever. You know, what have you, whatever floats your boat. Uh, just contact me with any figures you want. Figures you're trying to trade. Figures you're trying to sell. Or possibly even ones you want to buy. You know, because I'd put up a sale video before. And I was offered like 20 bucks for like 10 different figures. And it was ridiculous. Like really, I understand trying to get a good deal. But I'm not stupid. I'm not just somebody that has figures and doesn't know what they are. And it's just going to part with them for like five bucks. I'm not going to ask like 30 bucks for like a Zaku 2, something crazy like that. I know some people do. But come on, don't offer me like a dollar a figure. It's ridiculous. But yeah, it's really hard to buy because you're about Damashi's obviously new line, higher quality, so they're a little expensive. And since MSI aren't made anymore, their prices have skyrocketed. So it's hard to find any figures. But yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, like I said, I'll reply to your stuff as soon as possible. Sorry for how long videos and the rant. And thank you for those that stuck around to watch. Uh, my videos don't get very many views. So again, thanks guys for watching. Alright, out. Alright guys, quick addition here that I forgot to add earlier when I was talking about. Because I kind of really got off topic there. But I also have, uh, if you guys want to, you know, make... You know, small trades or whatever, stuff like that. I also have all of these little micro scale figures that you can paint. There's a couple like Star Wars in there and stuff. I'm not exactly sure why, but I think it's because they're close to the same scale. There's all sorts of bunch of people in there to show you the scale. You know, there's you can paint them real good if you like. Here's one I painted. He's got like a brown leather jacket type deal going on, white undershirt. That's it there. Uh, black jeans on, dress pants, whatever, white sneakers. He's got blonde hair. Yeah. But uh to show you the scale. I have a MSIA or with Damashi and a 1 to 144 scale model. Okay, there's the figure to the MSIA. About foot length. You see, so a little big to let's move him aside to the robot Damashi or Damashi Spirits whatever you want to call it since they're a little bit bigger than the MSIA as you can see they're not too shabby they go cool with them with a diorama and the 1 to 144 models seem to go with rather well they're a little bit big but still pretty cool I think 
so I have a whole bunch of those if anyone's interested in any of those for whatever reason. I also have this, which I'm willing to trade, which is, you know, pretty cool, but see, so throw the unicorn up there or any other figure. Actually, first, I'm going to do this. I'm going to shut off my light, guys. And this. Let my camera focus. Lights up. Crystals light up. You can see the unicorn, the way I've got him posed, he's blocking the light from his upper half. As you can see, it lights it up. Pretty damn cool, if I say so myself. But, as for right now, I have no room for it really on my shelf. And I'm trying to build my collection back up. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye.